happy, 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 happy Father's Day. Brian Yohe, this one's for you. Woo! I've had so many requests to do a review on this RDA in the last couple months. Vapor's calling this thing the tree's leaves. Is this true? Well, we're about to all find out, aren't we? The build I have in here is the sleeper coil using 24 gauge canthal, nine wraps on each side over a 564 drill bit, and it's reading at around 0.32 ohms. From the very first hit, I fell in love with this draw. I mean, fell in love with it. Even though the airflow is set, not adjustable, the draw is damn near perfect. IMO. But that's all subjective. Definitely made for your lung hitters. So if you're a mouth lunger and you enjoy using RDAs, this device is not for you. Definitely for the lungers. This is made for your vapors who love to vape with lower gauge wire. Lower gauge, like 24 gauge, 22 gauge. <laughs> for your heavy hitting mother suckers. You you got three finish options, brushed stainless steel, a polished finish, or you have a media blasted finish like this one right here. Love my media blasted finish, my favorite finish of all time. Right now, seriously, I love it, okay? Like the Russian 91% had that media blasted finish. Like the Aurelius mod had that media blasted finish. This thing looks the tits on that Aurelius mod. Oh, spankalicious. Yeah, so I dig this media blasted finish. The tugboat is very easy to build on. It's got a three post design on the deck. <laughs> Puberty! The juice well, you'll see all this stuff in the close ups. It is deep. I've been able to hold something like 1.2 to 1.3 mils of liquid in this deck this is a 22 millimeter dripper and it looks i mean the tits on all of my 22 millimeter mech mods for example there she is on the pegasus nice and flush threads at the 510 connection buttery smooth fits on all of my mods on all my variable voltage variable wattage devices all my mechanical mods and for all my mechanical mods it sits flush to the top it comes with a heat resistant delrin based drip tip stainless steel drip tip and i gotta tell you i haven't had this drip tip get hot on me once it's the first delrin based drip tip that i've used that has not gotten hot on me the tugboat is made in the good old us of a gotta love it and yes i am a patriot and if you got a problem with that that's your issue doesn't mean i'm biased about the product i'm just proud to be an american gotta love the american flag engraved on the top cap machining for this device top notch remember how i mentioned the drip tip not getting hot ever well neither does the top cap i've got a 0.32 ohm build in here and i can chain vape chain vape chain vape and that top cap will not get scorching hot like all these other rdas that i use out there that i've reviewed etc here i'll show you i'm gonna chain vape right here seven hits Alrighty, seven hits. It's warm, it's not hot. For a 22 millimeter dripper, hefty, hefty, hefty. The top cap is held on by a single O-ring. Easy to take off. Easy to put on, not going anywhere. Now the cons. This does not have adjustable airflow. It's set. In my opinion, all high-end RDAs should have adjustable airflow. This is not early to mid 2013. This is 2014. Most devices nowadays have adjustable airflow. There's no reason not to put adjustable airflow on this device, especially for the price, which we'll go over in a little bit. Since there's two set air holes, one on one side, one on the other, you can't run it in single coil mode without plugging up one of those holes. Where the hell is the love for all the single coilers out there? If you're going to offer this thing to support dual and quad coil mode, why not offer to support single coil mode as well? Those are my only two gripes for this device. If they make this thing to where it has adjustable airflow and you can run it in single coil mode, this thing could be the tree's leaves. All right, so those are the pros and the cons for the tugboat. Now to the close-ups. Epic Vape sent me two tugboats to show you guys. The one on the left is the media blasted finish and the one on the right is the stainless steel brush finish. If you ask me, I prefer the one on the left. That's the one I was vaping on in the vid. But uh, they both have the same features, the same specs. The only thing that's different is the finish. Before we go any further, this tugboat is sitting on an Aurelius. So this portion right here is the RDA that I'm reviewing, not this mod. <laughs> like I mentioned, the tugboat is stainless steel. It is a 22 millimeter dripper. It's got a flush mounted cap. 
flush mounted. Take the cap off. Okay, there's no lip at the bottom. It just goes straight down. Flush mounted. It has a three post design with Phillips screws. Look at that juice well. Holy moly. Super deep, large juice well. Like I said, I could fit about 1.5 mils of e-liquid in this well. Back to the top cap. Look at this American flag engraved on the top cap. Sweet! You got the tugboat. Here's the serialized drip tip. Take this drip tip out. It is a tight fit. Delrin based serialized drip tip. Got that tugboat on there. Wide bore. Super comfortable. Has never gotten hot on me. Top cap never gets hot on me either. Here's the inside of the top cap. Air holes on each side. These air holes measure at about two millimeters. You've got a tugboat on one side of the top cap and then on the other, just like you saw, the American flag. Got these lines right up here. Beautiful machining. Every drip tip that I've used has been compatible, but I just find using this one, it really matches it well. You got these lines at the bottom of this drip tip. It is a snug fit, but you know what? I don't mind that. Just like I mentioned in the vid, the top cap is held on by one single O-ring. Fits on perfect. Comes off with these as well. Okay, at the base, you've got your serial number as well. 510 threading, smooth as butter, has been compatible with all my devices. It's got a stainless steel connection. So yeah, that's the old tugboat for you. Let's go ahead and take her back to the original screen. Where can you get this? How much was it? And if the company hadn't sent this to me for review, would I have purchased it? First of all, I received this tugboat from an online vape shop by the name of Epic Vape. They're selling it on their site for $84.99. And to answer that last question, no, I wouldn't have purchased it. If Epic Vape hadn't sent this to me for review, definitely wouldn't have purchased it because of one thing, does not have adjustable airflow. I just feel that any RDA at a price point that this is at, $84.99, has got to have adjustable airflow. Got to. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.